and welcome to Business Mind Map Insights, or BMMI for short. If you're starting a new business or trying to grow an existing one, you already know how overwhelming strategy and analysis can feel. Scattered docs, endless meetings, AI tools that don't really get your business. Sound familiar? That's exactly what BMMI fixes. Our platform takes your business, whether it's just an idea or a live website, and automatically builds a visual mind map that breaks it down into clear nodes. Start by entering your website or business description, and the AI will analyze your business into key areas, features, markets, benefits, and competitors. Every node comes with tags and context created by AI. You can edit them, add new ones, or drill down into any area to get laser-focused insights with just a few clicks. From there, your business mind map generates instant reports, gap analysis, go-to-market strategies, customer insights, competitor breakdowns, even full-channel playbooks for email, paid ads, social, or content. And because this isn't a one-person job, you can share your mind map with collaborators, your co-founders, marketing team, operations, even external consultants. Everyone works from the same single source of truth. You can also export everything in natural language or JSON to feed directly into other AI platforms, giving them the context they need to finally understand your business. Um, let's take a quick example. Say you're launching a new product and want a product hunt strategy. With BMMI, it's literally a couple of clicks. Select your product, your target market, and instantly get a ready to use launch plan. That's just one of hundreds of strategies and insights you can generate. So stop drowning in scattered documents and outdated slide decks. BMMI makes a strategy visual, simple and actionable. Get started free today and let A, I do the heavy lifting while you focus on growing your business. For this example, I'm going to be using appinstitute.com. So what I'm going to do is take the domain, I'm going to start the analysis, I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to start the AI process. It's going to look through um, that domain, try and understand the context of that business, and, so, and identify the business types. In this case, it's identified B2B SaaS, B2C SaaS, app development. So I think it's probably B2B is more accurate, so I'm going to remove that one. Um, and maybe I'm also going to say uh, no code platform. There's another option, which is kind of um, a, a feature of, of, of that business type. So I'm going to uh, then continue and maybe also SMEs, because that's the target audience at that one, and then continue on to features. And so as you can see, the AI is doing some of the work for us and we're kind of validating its work and also adding anything else. In this case, we're looking at the features of the business, and you can see it's identified that it's a no-code uh, development, which is what it is. It's got templates, which is great. You drag and drop editor, push notifications. So it's got all of the kind of assets, and I'm sure there are more that we could add, but for the, for the demonstration of this video, I'm going to just accept those and now jump over to market. And so it's going to look at, you know, who are the target audience for this? Uh, you know, who's types of customer? And again, it's nailed it. Um, restaurant owners, beauty salons, retail businesses, registrations, all the types of businesses that are customers of um, App Institute. So again, now let's look at the benefits. So what are the benefits, the features we've identified? What are those benefits to the market that we've identified as well? So we can start looking at some of those high level benefits, uh, which we can use as value prop in our kind of further analysis. And again, we can see here faster time to market. That's certainly true for a uh, no code app development platform. Improved communications, that's um, true for uh, push notifications, etc., and many other elements. Again, we could refine, prune, add our own as we go through, uh, but for the uh, purpose of this demonstration, I'll leave them as they are. Of course, we can always add and change and monitor these later on in the mind map. This is just obviously the creation process, kind of the starter for 10, as it were. And here we go. Again, we've got a competitor identified of Abby Pie. I'm going to add in. Uh, Build Fire here, another competitor of uh, App Institute, and now finish off the mind map. And so here we are in the mind map. You can see it's created all of the nodes um, that we've kind of went through in the wizard, and all of the, the tags of the um, within those nodes are now created. And actually what we can do is we can select any one of these. So for example, let's take the no-code development in features, 
and we'll see straight away that we, we've also got some uh, context there as well. So it's not just no code development, but it's actually build mobile apps without writing any code, ideal for non-technical users. So we've expanded out that tag within the, the features for a broader context for AI and for our insights. And we can start to generate those insights. For example, here, we maybe want to um, deselect all of the features and maybe just focus on one specific one. In this case, maybe push notifications. And then we can also drill down and maybe choose a, a market and again, deselect and maybe just choose one of those, which is maybe restaurant owners. So now we've got our main business node here, which has got all the kind of overall intelligence of our business based on the competitors and the business type and uh, features. In this case, we're doing some analysis on uh, a, f a specific feature of push notifications um, and restaurant owners. And so now, for example, we can look at what channels have we got to market for those specific um, uh, selections. So it could be email or social, it could be content marketing, it could be paid advertising, it could maybe be partnerships. For example, do we want to do a product hunt launch? In that case, I can select the product hunt launch and it's going to craft based on all the knowledge of the business, the perfect product hunt uh, description, or at least a starting point for you to then refine. And again, using the platform, we can use AI to refine these outputs. What we can also do as well is being able to drill down like we have here to kind of get a specific segment and get laser focused uh, on a particular feature audience, maybe benefit as well. Um, we could also start to produce some reports and insights, start to interrogate with AI with these interactive reports where we can select specific features of the report and dive into them. For example, let's choose the go-to-market for push notifications for restaurant owners. So here we can see we've got the, the initial report generated here, our go-to-market strategy specifically focusing around restaurant owners um, and, and the feature of push notifications using that as part of the value prop. So we can see we've got this report here and we can kind of scroll through this and find it. If we find a specific area that could be interesting, for example, competitive differentiation, we can select that area of the report and now on the right hand side, uh, we can start to ask questions about that and kind of dive down further. And in fact, we also get some suggested questions. So in this case, we've got six suggested questions that we could ask about this specific segment of the report. And as we change the section of the report, the suggested questions change. And so we can, for example, we can say, hey, could we explain this in simpler terms? And so we could have like a, a synopsis there, or we could say, how do we differentiate from these from our competitors? And so again, we can get some further insight in there. And if it's something that we think is actually going to be valuable to the overall report, we can choose to add that um, further AI analysis into the report there. So we've got uh, an expanding report. And any report that we create, obviously throughout this platform, there are lots of contextual relevant reports and insights, as you can see here in this, um, in this uh, cross section of the business we've chosen. Uh, the AI has determined that these are the most relevant reports uh, that would be pertinent you know, for us in terms of looking at the pain points and gap analysis, go to market risk analysis, for just broader AI insights, comparison analysis, looking at kind of competitors and focus strategy. And of course, all of this can either be further drilled down or further broadened, expanded. Um, as well as, and then all exported. So this can be exported um, either in natural language or maybe for JSON that you could then use as instructions for other AI platforms or other, other AIs, other platforms you're using that has an AI capability that requires instructions. This becomes a central place where you can start to share this. And like I say, you know, we can really uh, dive down to from market strategies into insights and to go to market, you know, all the way through to an email uh, campaign. So there really is a, a huge amount of uh, insight and values to be had from, um, from using and storing your business log logic in this platform. And of course, don't forget that it's all about collaboration as well. You can start to invite your team into here so you can collaborate together. You can control it whether you just want some members just to be a viewer, just to get access to that data so you have a central repository from an organization perspective, or you can allow other people to collaborate as well as being editors or even admins of, of the mind maps you're creating. In terms of the platform itself, you can create any number of mind maps. Um, you can simply click this button here and that will take you um, through the wizard and start again. I hope this video has been useful. I look forward to hearing your success stories with Business Mind Map Insights. Take care. Bye.